there's no reason for the Chinese rhetoric. There's no reason for uh, any actions to be taken. It is not uncommon for uh, congressional leaders to travel to Taiwan. It is very much in keeping with our policy and consistent with our support to Taiwan under the Taiwan Relations Act. Uh, we're not, we shouldn't be as a country, we shouldn't be intimidated by, by that rhetoric uh, or, or those potential actions. This is an important trip for the speaker to be on. I wonder if it is important. I don't know. Let's ask Dave about it. Dave Reboy, my friend, joins me now. Sign up for his Substack, Late Republic Nonsense. I read it. It makes me a whole lot smarter. He's also a senior fellow at Claremont Institute. Dave, all right, Nancy Pelosi's going to Taiwan. Well, she's in Taiwan as we speak. Should we care? What is, it? What, what, what is all this? I don't think so. I mean, I think this is theater. Uh, the question that you asked at the outset is, does this even matter? I mean, is this, uh, is, you know, is this the right thing to do right now? And um, I don't think anyone really would would say yes. I mean, this is, um, it's a kind of, it, it's a problem that the United States has had, let's say the meta problem is something that the United States has had for the last couple of decades, which is that it, uh, it prioritizes these kinds of symbolic gestures at, to the exact extent that it forgets its strategic interests. Now, its real strategic interests in regards to China involve the economy, involve not giving away the entire industrial base to China. It involves, um, you know, it involves uh, debt. It involves a, kind of a million other things that ruling class people like Nancy Pelosi have been horrible at. And, and they've gotten us into this position. Now she's going and she's putting herself out there as, you know, whatever, a, a champion of, uh, of, uh, of Taiwanese democracy. I don't know. I mean, this kind of thing that there's the old saying that patriotism is the last, uh, you know, refuge of the scoundrel. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true, but, uh, but this kind of posturing is definitely uh, the last refuge of the scoundrel. Joe Biden's talking tough. Everyone's talking tough about China and the CCP and you can't threaten us. And I mean, all that stuff's fine. Look, I love America too. Wave that flag all day long, but it feels like they can, Dave. It sure feels like they can threaten us at this point in time. What, what are we going to do? What even can we do? Look, I don't think there's really anything that, that we can do. Uh, the first thing is we should dispense with all kinds of, um, of, of nonsense things that, that will not happen. So for example, the idea that that tomorrow or the next day, or frankly any time, the Chinese military is gonna is gonna walk in and, and launch an attack on Taiwan is I think it's it's ridiculous because at the end of the day, Taiwan is a valuable property. Taiwan has industry. Taiwan is 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 a is a is a jewel. In the same way that China could have um, completely destroyed Hong Kong. Um, for for years without without all that much effort, um, they didn't. They decided that they would walk in and take it when the time was right. And they've got all the time in the world. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do with Taiwan. Um, at a certain point, the timing will be right, and they'll just walk in because they don't want to wreck the place. So that's number one. Uh, number two is we really need to start. Well, let's say I'm gratified by a lot of folks on the right now who are seeing this stuff and also seeing, you know, something we'll talk about in a second with the Al Zawahiri. Um, they're seeing this stuff from uh, from the the regime media, and they're just saying, you know what, shove it. Um, this is this is uh, mostly propaganda, and it's ridiculous. And and look, I mean, you and I don't want to live in a in a place where we absolutely can't trust the government to tell us what's actually going on and we absolutely can't trust the media to tell us what's going on but guess what we're there and we don't solve that the, those particular problems by by you know waking up one day and, and and trusting them and sort of following the ball uh whichever way they toss it don't miss jesse kelly breaks history the forgotten genocide the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for first tv supporters visit the first tv app or the first tv.com to subscribe and start watching today